Um, who's had a look at the 2020 HSC paper uh, by any chance? Let's see. I've so, looked at, I've looked you looked at some questions, questions. okay. Looked at some questions. So, um, you guys are pretty lucky in the sense that, you know, <laughs> last year, those guys, they didn't have any HSC papers, right? And so, when we're looking at what we think this year's HSC paper will be like, um, here we can make some sort of predictions about what we think might be there, right? And, you know, they're predictions at the end of the day, so they're never going to be completely accurate or anything like that. But what we can do and what we can think about is, okay, what is most commonly asked and what is, or what has been asked, you know, at least in last year's paper and have a look and go from there. So it's probably actually better if you guys haven't looked at last year's paper because um, this way uh, we're coming in fre with a fresh perspective. So, I mean, let's have a think. What are the main topics that we look at when we think about our topics? First of all, we've got year 11 and year 12. So, I mean, generally looking at it, what do we think the split's going to be in terms of year 11 versus year 12 topics as a percentage wise? 25, 75. 25, 25, 75. 25, 75. Chelsea, what do you think? 10% in year 11. 10% you reckon? And 90% year 12? Well, extension one, that's another kettle of fish. So we'll look at that tomorrow. Any other percentages? Just throw them out. There's nothing. 70, 30, 60, 70, 30, 60 what? 30 and 60, that doesn't matter. 30 and 60 <laughs> gives me 90 and then 10%. We just don't worry about that. <laughs> extension two, maths, don't worry. We don't, need, we don't need percentages. Okay, so people throw out lots of different numbers. And there's no, I just want to make it really clear. There's no set number they have to do in terms of a year 11, year 12 spit. So, so people like to say, oh, they have to do a certain amount each year. They don't. Um, the other thing that sort of confuses it a little bit. Are they just going to put like 100% year 11 stuff? <laughs> like, so I'd be very surprised. I don't think they would ever do that. I mean, I'm not necessarily, so I don't know. But one thing that sort of confuses it a little bit is that, you know, the stuff you learned in year 11, you carry on to year 12. You know, all the calculus stuff, that's kind of like, that is assumed knowledge for year 12. It's very different to other courses, which are pretty much, as far as I know, they're all separate. Like year 11 is year 11, year 12 is year 12. In the mathematics HSC, right, year 11 content can be asked. The content splits, and I've just done the analysis here. So it looks like if I've done it correctly, this is what we've got going on. You know, see that? Yeah. It's like a big chunk. Yeah, so 32%, 32% year 11 content. So 32%. Is some of our year 11 content? Uh, so anything that was the simple probability or discrete probability distributions, that's like one of the common year 11 topics. So, you know, uh, some parts of probability, not the continuous stuff. Um, any sort of basic sort of algebraic questions. So if there's things on like factorizing and those kind of things, those are basic algebraic questions, I suppose, if you want to think about it like that. Uh, and again, any sort of more elementary or introductory questions on calculus, that can be considered year 11 content anyway. So it's kind of a matter of, if you're studying for year 12 stuff, you might be studying for year 11 stuff anyway. So there's no necessary kind of um, distinction sometimes between them. There's a lot of overlap, is what I want to say. But it is something to think about, right? If 32% of year 11 content was asked last year, you'd expect something similar this year, right? Uh, and there are other topics in year 11 as well that you have learned that sort of doesn't really get touched on in year 12. So that's just something to think about as well. I'm just trying to think, what are the main ones for you guys? Year 11, let's have a look. So for the main one, you've got algebra, uh, equations, yeah, fun of some of the function stuff you might not have done for a while. Uh, and yeah, trigonometry. So like, like the measurement trigonometry, that's year 11 stuff as well. That's another thing to think about. So I'll put that in, that's pretty important too. So trigonometry, mainly the measurement stuff. So anything to do with like the cos and sinal and that kind of thing. So again, those questions I guess you would say are probably easier, so to speak, than the year 12 content. But at the same time, you have to be aware of it. Speaking of year 12 content, the other thing to think about is, okay, yes, we know the year 11, year 12 split now, right? But what about these topics? Um, 
So just to give you an idea of what, where this document is from, um, we got it based off, now if you Google mathematics HSC 2021, right? Uh, it comes up with your timetable, which is not what we want. We want the exam, so let's put that in too. Still comes up with the timetable. That's because the exam hasn't been released yet. Oh, I'm looking up 2021. <laughs> Imagine if they uploaded the PDF. Like, yeah, here's the 2021. Here's the 2021 exam. 2020 is the one we're trying to do. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, if we get this up. <laughs> yeah, everyone's done. <laughs> okay, so this is the 2020 um, PDF, right? And so if you go to the bottom, at the end, there's all this information. Okay, so this is just the exam paper. This is the one here, marking guidelines. So this has all of the uh, sort of solutions and things like that, uh, work solutions, if you want to call them that. At the end of this document, there is what we call like a mapping section. And that tells you what topic everything is related to. And that's where we've got this from, right? And so if you look at it carefully, some of these, the ones with MA11, that's what year 11 content is. And this stuff here, that's what year 12 content is, right? So let's go back to our document here. The question now is, okay, I know that there's a year 11, year 12 split, but what are the most important topics to study for? Yes, ideally you know everything. But at the same time, you're going to have a focus on some of these, right? So year 12, I mean, what topics in year 12 do we know? And then let's have a think. I'll tell you what these are in a sec, but what do we think are the most heavily weighted ones over here? So give me some topics and then let's have a think. What is that for? Is that like integration? You reckon integration? So that could go up on there? Differentiation. Calculus. Yeah, differentiation. Sure. Fine. Anything else? What else have we got in year 12? Uh, just any of the topics. Yeah, any of the topics. Like the yeah. Financial one. Or financial? Yeah. yeah, financial mathematics. Yeah, that's uh, continuous probability, yeah. You don't think it's a big one? No. Isn't that normal distribution stuff from everyone's standard Yeah, so. You don't think, so you're saying that the probability one might not be so big? Is that what you're thinking? Well, I don't know. I yeah. feel like we don't really, I haven't really seen it too much. Yeah, yeah. So, one thing, yeah, well, here's the thing. One thing to think about is that, first of all, Chelsea's right. This is what we call common content with standard, is a thing that they've brought in recently. Um, and also, it's a new topic. So if you're going through older HSC papers, you won't see this topic inside it. That's why we tend to give you these trial papers because they're based on the new syllabus. If you go to like anything before 2020, you will see a lot of these types of questions, a lot of these types of questions. You won't see any of these types of questions, okay? That's just something to think about. Um, am I missing any topics? Why is the 98 so tiny? 96. This 96, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a funny story. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not really that funny. It's like I was trying to I try to just do some checks when I build up these Excel spreadsheets, and uh, apparently I could only get ninety six marks. So I don't know where the other four marks have gone. So I'm gonna have to look at. Yeah, it's, it's meant to be out of hundred. So yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll look into that later. Don't worry about that. Um, any other topics I'm missing? That's all the ones you learned. Yeah, yeah, what else, what, are, what else are we missing? Like the big overarching. Sequences hmm. and Good, there we go, there we go. What else did you do? Try and help me out here. No, I think you're killing it, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did the, we did the correlation regression. Hmm. Yeah. We'll call that statistics, oh, yeah. maybe? Yeah. yeah. They're probably like both these, yeah. Wait, there's a trick up there, I can't see. That's year 11. Well, I thought we did something. Well, yeah, here's the thing, right? So, yes, when I, remember when I said trigonometry in year 11? That's like the measurement stuff, like sine, cosine, and all that kind of thing. What trick did we do in year 12, Cameron? Um, what trick did like the. Graphing trick. Yeah, for vision. Was it transformation? It's kind of like, yeah, so we looked at changing and sketching the graphs. They're more related to functions. 
So, the big focus on year 12 is that it's... Exactly, yeah, that's right, that's right. So basically the focus is on, if you want to call them abstract things, they're also kind of harder versions of the year 11 content, right? Because here you just looked at the sine, cosine rule, that kind of thing. And the probability, you looked at discrete probability distributions. Then in year 12, you look at the continuous ones, right? So basically, they just make them harder, okay? The topics that we look at, the suspicion was that these two are probably the most historically assessed. And you'd be right. Um, again, that's just a prediction. Year on year, it changes. Um, what do each of these correlate to? So I'll look at the year. You can find out as well uh, on the syllabus. Um, yeah, exactly. So very rarely you would expect them to ask something like that, right? But I mean, it is possible, uh, like just a basic indices question. To check though, if you bring up the syllabus document, you can see what each of these um, correlate to, right? So. Oh my God, that is crazy. <laughs> mind blown. Okay, so here's year 11. Let's have a look. So this is what Chelsea was talking about, like the indices stuff. MA11, that's like your basic algebra, that kind of thing. MA11-2, that's looking at functions. So that's starting to look at graphing and that kind of thing. Uh, MA11-3, there's your basic trig. MA11-4 is, oh, it looks like we did do a bit of equations of trig as well in year 11. That's right. Uh, then we start looking at the derivative, MA11-5. Doesn't look like they associate anything with that. If you're wondering about that, that's probably because they just do the, it's just like the hard questions that they'll um, ask on that topic. So MA11.6, there's your uh, index laws, log laws, exponential things. Uh, seven, that's your probability that we talked about. Uh, eight, there shouldn't be any in there because it's technology, so you wouldn't expect any in there. And nine, that's just kind of a general, they have these general outcomes which are sort of, uh, so just we, so we could get an addition math, math skills. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I, addition I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that. So it looks like the biggest one here, M11 one, which is that functions algebra stuff. Yeah. So, so maybe like using the um, quadratic form and that kind of thing. Oh, sorry. Here we go. There you go. This one here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's year 11. What about year 12? Let's have a look. So. The one we're interested in this one is this one, MA12-7. That's the one that's okay. the biggest. Place no, bet, no, it's place oh, no, it's not. MA12-8, sorry, is the biggest. Guys, let's place bets on what it is. So, just wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I think statistics has a shout. Okay. Being the big one. Yeah. I think it's in calculus. Yeah. Calculus, you reckon? Yeah? Yeah. Let's have a look. It probably would be, wouldn't it? So you got to back yourself, Josh. Yeah, no, you know what? Yeah, no, I'll die on the show. Statistics, I'm with it. Right, it's going to be the lowest one. It's going to be the lowest one, though. Oh my, oh my goodness. I'm actually... What? I actually... I have no words. I didn't even expect that myself. MA12-8 had 16 marks last year. That's the highest percentage. That's an easy, like, 17 Exactly. And so here's the thing, right? You want to think to... Like, like I said, there's no... There's no guarantee whatsoever that... This year's HSC is going to be anything like this, right? It may be that maybe they'll completely shift the dynamic there. But it's something to think about, right? Is it's it's like, what do I need to be focusing on, right? Do am I prepared for this kind of distribution of topics? Okay, let's go through it again from the top. Twelve one, that's your you know graphing that kind of thing, general algebra thing. Twelve two, there's your financial math. So that wasn't asked too heavily last year. 12.3 is your calculus. Uh, there's a few other calculus um, outcomes, so just don't worry about that for you. Yeah. 12.4, there's your arithmetic geometric series. 12.5, sketching trig functions. 12.6, there's another um, calculus one, right? So, so in theory, right, because there's a few... In theory, calculus wins. If there's a few calculus ones there, if you add them all up, it might be bigger, we'll see. Um, 12.7... That's the other big one there, that's integration. So, I mean, it depends whether you think about these as separate things. Integration, yeah, differentiation. If you combine them together, maybe Ka Caitlin's probably right. Yeah, they're not the same. <laughs> sure, sure. 12, eight, Josh, you're a winner. There's your stats. And 12, nine, uh, again, technology, so you wouldn't expect to see any of that. So, what's the takeaway from this? The takeaway is that we can't, I guess, predict exactly 
what the 2021 paper will be like. Like, the only people who know that are people who have written the exam, right? But what we should be thinking about is, okay, what is my focus going to be here right now? Is it sort of about what I'm good at? Is it what I need help with? Or is it going to be the topics that are going to be most commonly found in there, right? There should be some focus on that. Could you, could you put that on? Too? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can put that up on there. No worries at all. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. We're going to have a chat about it. But that's just, just to get you thinking about, you know, what are you going to put your focus on for the next two weeks, okay?